says Dr. Ben. All right, I'll look over here on my uh, question computer, Let's see what the next question is. Okay, from a teacher on going back to school. Fine, uh, anonymous, that's fine. Um, my classroom doesn't have a window. Should I have a fan to help with circulation and ventilation? Ugh, yeah. Ugh, all right, you're in what they call a no no win situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not not a situation you want to be in. Um, will moving air around help? Probably a little bit, but not enough that you could say it would be likely to keep anybody safe. So it's not a bad thing, and I would say, yeah, do it if you have to do it. But at the same time, this is a bad situation, and yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm sure there are a lot of people that are being kind of nudged by employers into situations like this that are not uh, conducive to health or safety, <laughs> shall we say. Um, yeah, I like the thought, but to make a reasonable difference, you're talking about, you know, installing an air handler like room on top of your room with all the right piping and yeah, you would have very fast flowing air. You want to change it out every couple of minutes. And even with that, you can still definitely get infected. There are, um, there are cases where people have got infected outside playing around, whatever. So it's not like, yeah, it's not like that makes you safe. It just makes it a little less likely, um, to be quite as bad. So, I, yeah, if you're stuck in that situation, you have to do it. Yeah, sure. Line up maybe a bank of fans. You want to try and get some kind of air circulation going. So you want air to have a way to come in. You want air to have a way to go out. I could see with, um, I don't know, some kind of, uh, <laughs> yeah, cardboard wall. If we can make cardboard walls or something, um, <laughs> you can potentially make kind of a path that the air can follow so you can pull in fresh air and push out uh, potentially infectious air but all of that is not particularly compatible with teaching in a classroom <laughs> yeah so again I mean I know why we're doing this but at the same time I don't know why we're doing it like this um, yeah yeah so yeah I'm sorry. I guess that's my advice. I'm I'm very sorry. It doesn't sound good. Yeah. Um, wear a mask all the time. It's going to be muffled, but students are going to have to listen up. That's going to be the new, the new reality. Eventually, they'll come up with some kind of microphone that you can wear, like inside of a little mask. These things probably exist, but uh, I don't know that they exist for you in your school system. And yeah, you'd have to kind of like try and tape one of those little lapel mics on the inside of a mask that has a pretty good um, sort of, um, uh, that's kind of popped away from the face. Like some of those good N95s are like that. I think if you just put a, <laughs> try and put a lovelier mic right inside there, I, I would end up swallowing it or just, yeah, <laughs> something like that, which again is not... Uh, not really going to help anybody um, out at all, but I, I think that would be a reasonably safe alternative. But yeah, definitely wear a mask. Make sure all your kids do. Throw them out the second that they don't. If they don't, just yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be basic rule, no uh, exceptions. So thanks very much. This is Ask Dr. Ben.